I'll get the list off the second trip when I go down. Okay. All right. Well, item seven is the uh, deputation from New King's Hole Tenants and Residents Association. Is that right? Um, we have Mr. J. Fay, um, who's the spokesperson. Well done. I'm rather nervous. Well, I'll tell you what. I will try and put your point, King's Hall's point, over as best I can. To this Hackney Council and the old Hackney Council, we demand immediately the decanting of the two tower blocks at Thornhill Point and Holston Point. Due to the extreme situation that exists in these blocks, the tenants who have to live with, this, with asbestos, broken down services, rotten windows, bad lifts, and the total filth of cockroaches, rats, and other vermin, including the squatters. Old people's bungalows. There is no security. They are off the beaten plank. The Kingshold Estate in Hackney lies at the heart of London's East End. The old red brick estate of tenement blocks and enclosed courtyards was built in the early 1930s. In 1969, the new Kingshold estate sprang up, consisting of 25 low-rise maisonettes and two high-rise tower blocks. Today, the whole estate is home for 2,000 people. What follows is a glimpse of the lives and experiences of some of those tenants during one long summer. The asbestos in our flats, they are a health hazard and you are doing nothing to protect the lives of tenants. Three flats have been stripped of asbestos out of 742 flats. Half of the new estate was built using asbestos. The Kingshold Tenants Association, led by their chairman Joe Fay, take their grievances to Hackney Council's housing committee. These are only a few of the problems on the King's Hold Estate. Now let's see you do what you were elected to do, and that is to look after the tenants of Hackney. Thank you. The acting director will respond to what you're saying. Um, <clears throat> can I begin by saying very clearly that council officers do recognise that these blocks have very severe and intractable problems which have created an unsatisfactory environment for tenants. What I would like to propose is that um, we produce for this committee an interim report in July, which is actually only about four weeks away. Oh, oh, we know what happened here last November. We came down, we gave you all the details that you wanted, and now you're coming back to us again and saying, we want more details. Get these tenants out of Hackney, of King's Hall Estate, because we've had enough of your promises. You're full of promises and nothing. I don't need a fucking And you didn't look, you didn't look at King's Old and say, oh, that's a terrible estate, we won't put their rents out. You put them up as if they was like everybody else's in good condition. Now, you are taking diabolical liberties with these people and something's got to be done. And we can't keep having every meeting we come to. The officers are going to make another report for another £10,000 and another report. This is the fourth report. See, you're not being fair. Most of the tenants in Acne are not getting a fair service. These people are being positively discriminated against. If you were a private landlord, you'd all be in prison. Yeah. 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 Could I, just, could I just say, it's obviously absurd, and I agree with my colleague, Councillor Slater, to make promises we can't keep about decanting people immediately. But I think, that, I, I think it is right that we should indicate our in-principle understanding of, of what the tenants have suffered on this estate. I think now we've come to the end of the debate, but it will be up as an item for discussion at, on the 24th of July. Right, I'd like to thank on behalf of the committee for 
Mr. Faye to come along this evening. Um, I'd just like to point out that I did meet Mr. Fay on the estate on last Wednesday and I, I also was appalled and I do have photographs of the bungalows which I was obtained and I was appalled at the state and the live wires that were around. Get back Dirty play! Dirty play! Hey, quiet. It's been very quiet around the end. Well, see old Tommy, see how he is. What? I'll see you later, OK, love? Yeah, I'm all right. What worry about me, Joe. I come from the right place, not going right. to be happening. It's done. Joe's wife, Jean, fears her husband's heart condition is being affected by his work as chairman of the Tenants' Association. We're trying to get, like, um, petition to see what the council are going to do about the asbestos. Yeah. Because the asbestos is very dangerous. So do you have to give the name? Well, you just put your name and address and your signature on there, please. Yeah. All right? Here's Joe now, look. Yeah. 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 Right, Joe. Hello. Hi, Joe. How are you? Yeah. All right. You've got a lot of asbestos in here. It's very bad for your children. Right. Yeah, well, they they want want to to move from there. We want you to move, yeah. You, uh, well, well, we'll see what happens. See what happens. Okay. Right, okay. Right, thanks very much. This is all the help. Okay. Thank right, you. Bye-bye. Oh, nice a, a lot of them don't know. They don't know. They just don't know. There's a third one that says, what's that? What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're just going crazy here, painting front doors. Yeah. As you can see, listening to Dire Straits. <laughs> Asby Point, and having loads of cans of tenants. <laughs> to keep us going, yes. Keep us going. We need someone out. It's not like a good paint job. Have you opened that can yet? Which one? That one there that's got pink written all over it. Oh, you open it and I'll paint it. I'm your labourer now. Having separated from his wife, Ian was homeless for a year, living in bed and breakfast hotels, before moving on to the estate six months ago. Come on, my friends, the kitchen. Asbestos here, here, here. This wall here, this section here, this is where the squatters come through, of which I have boarded up the whole section so they cannot smash their way through with their crowbars. You see, this here, that is asbestos fair. This is asbestos as it is. Blue asbestos is about to be decorated. But if they told me about it, I would not have taken this flat. Half of my flat is asbestos, which is a little bit evil, really. Because uh, I decorated before, I stripped every wall before I knew it was asbestos. And I ripped her out of it. Well, they don't want to know, do they? Well, we do. Well, Tell me. They so we're the Tenants of Souls in the Ocean. Yeah, but, uh, but, uh, what do you mean, Pete? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> it boils down. <laughs> it boils down to one thing. Uh, these people get a good job out of it, mate. We're not. Oh. This is all voluntary, sir. Yes. This is voluntary. Well, take this and take it. I'm the Tins Association chair. I don't make on both of them. I do it voluntary. Well, we've been in 19 years next October. Nothing ain't nothing done. Yet. Well, we're trying to do our best now. You're doing your best, yeah. yeah. Now so you are. Would you kindly sign for us? Everything I've got here comes from skips, other than 